public participation forums at your table. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 With a bit more. We, we, we could allow you to just um, do your calculations. Um, how would you explain how you decided this? Okay, according to the current situation in the country, we, we see doctors striking, we see citizens suffering, hospitals are not in good conditions, facilities, machineries. So we actually need to facilitate the health centers, mostly the public health centers, we need to pay the doctors so that we have no strikes. Since you just uh, did this questionnaire, you just came in, probably you're thinking, there's some additional information you would like yes. to know about? Like how much, how much exactly? Government case to accept, okay. and how do they plan the budget? Uh -huh. And, and uh, actually, who approves the budgets? Uh -huh. and how do they do it? Okay, yeah. okay. That's information. They involve the public when they are doing this budget, or they don't. Okay. So it's very important. I think I'd like to know is the public involved okay. in actually coming up with such a budget. All right. No, I end up for your national government public participation. National government is the sector National government in a piano pesa for his sector, Ungers, but he and Russian for a similar near Moja. Kwa kabla ugawa hizi hizi ya asilimia 100. Ni nini ungelipenda kujua kabla kufanya hiyo? Ungependa ku kuelimishwa zaidi uwe na ufahamu. Kutano wa leo utakuwa unaangazia jambo moja kubwa ambalo ni public participation. Wangapi tube participate katika budget forums zote katika county zetu? Inua mkono tu. Kwa hivyo wengi wetu tume participate za county. Wangapi tume participate ambazo ni budget ya national government? Moja. Moja tu. Haya basi mnaona tuna kibarua eh. Budget process ya Kenya bila kusema mambo mengi sana inakaa hivi. Katika budget tunakuanga na sehemu ine tafauti. Hii sehemu ya kwanza ambayo ni ya blue hii hapo ndi wakati tunatengeneza budget yenyewe tunaita formulation. Na hivi viji sehemu viji sehemu unaona hapa vina vinasimamia mwezi mzima. Kwa hivyo hiyo process ikianza mwisho wa August unaona ni miezi mingapi hadi mwisho wa April. Sasa hizi tuko May. August mwaka huu ukifika budget itaanza. Budget ya mwaka gani? Tutaanza kutayarisha budget ya mwaka gani? 2018 na haya tunatayarisha budget ya mwaka gani? 2018 2019. Budget ya serikali haifuati kalenda ya kawaida. Mwaka wa serikali unaanza mwezi upi? Julai hadi June mwaka ujao. Vile nimesema ile discussion ambayo tutakuwa nayo leo ni tuna sekta fulani fulani katika serikali kuu. Je, tutagawa pesa kivipi katika hizo sekta? Lakini swali kubwa ni leo katika process ile discussion ambayo tutakuwa nayo leo inaingia wapi katika hii process yote? Na kila mwaka wakati tunafikia katikati ya mwezi wa pili katika national government kuna document ambayo inaitwa budget policy statement. Nataka hiyo yaandike chini mahali. Budget policy statement. Umuhimu wa document hiyo ni kwamba hapo ndiyo tunafanya decision ya mwisho ya kila sekta itapata pesa kiasi gani. Lakini ku inform ile budget policy statement uh, kuna public participation ambayo ufanyika. So kila sekta inakuwa na kikundi chake wanafanya discussion. Wanaangalia document kama zile ambazo tutaangalia leo. 
kumbuka wakati tunafanya mazungumzo hata katika hayo makundi lazima tuhakikishe ya kwamba wakati unasema nataka sekta fulani ipate pesa kiasi fulani lazima we support na reason nzuri si kusema tu ah sekta ya elimu ndio muhimu kabisa katika taifa kwa hivyo ipewe 30% ah ah kumbuka utakuwa umesoma hiyo sekta inafanya kazi gani hiyo sekta ina shida za aina gani kwa hivyo tukifika katika yale makundi wakati mnapeana maoni yenu kuhusu ni hela kiasi gani natakiwa kupatiwa katika kila sekta ile support uh, reasoning ambayo utakuwa unapatia lazima iwe nzito kilio kwamba in the practical case wakati tutakuwa tunafanya hizi public participation ni tutatoa reason ambayo itahakikisha kwamba kama ni county government ama ni national government wanaelewa maoni yetu lakini hao maoni yetu ndio tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba yamekuwa informed na ile information ambayo mtapata katika hizi file na at the same time yatakuwa informed na yale maoni ambayo yatatoka kwa wale watu ambao tutakuwa tuna discuss nao katika makundi nataka kuzungumza kwa dakika kumi tu kuhusu jambo moja ambalo lazima tulifikirie tunapofanya kugawa katika sectors policy yetu ni gani hiyo nimeita our approach to development nataka kuzungumzia wewe kama Elizabeth unafikiria aje kuhusu maendeleo na nataka nizungumzie vitu nne jinsi ya kufikiria kuhusu maendeleo ya kwanza ambayo nitafikiria nita, nitazungumzia ni kuhusu human versus physical capital. Okay? Human versus physical capital. Kama wa Kenya tunezaamua tuendeleze watu. Tunaendeleza watu kupata hizo skills. Ama tunezaamua huu mwaka tunataka tujiendeleze kibarabara, bridges. Hizo sasa ndio physical capital. Ya pili ni investment versus active industrial policy. Uh, government yetu inafaa ifanye uchaguzi. Huu mwaka na hizo miaka zinazokuja hivi karibuni, tunafaa kuzingatia nini? Kama government, ni sisi tujiingize kwa hizo business ama ni sisi tutengeneze environment enye business zinaweza thrive. Ya 9.3 inaitwa debt versus services. Kumbuka na, venye nazungumza kuhusu our, our approach to development ni jinsi ya kufanya uamuzi. Ni nini unafaa uzingatie? Wewe filosofi yako ni gani? Si ndio? Kuna wale watu wanaamini mimi huwa sichukui ndio ninaisha maisha yangu maisha yangu venye iko na hivyo basi ndio nitaisha. Wengine wanaamua wacha nichukue deni nijiendeleze nikilipa naenda songa naweza songa mbele. Sasa tunafaa tufikirie hivyo kwa government. Haya. 9 9.4 physical security and social security tunapozingatia maneno ya development ya hii country lazima tufikirie ni nini tunataka physical security yani eh, sisi tuwe na usalama kama venye polisi wanatuweka you know wanatuweka usalama ama KDF au sio jioni hiyo ni physical security yani tusikuje tuuliwe tusikuje tuibiwe tusikuje tu hiyo sasa ndio physical security ama tunaweza fikiria social security social security ni nini o watu wako na eh, social fund for example tutawapatia pesa kidogo muende mwanze business zenu ndio isaidia tusikwe mafukara alafu tuanze kuiba ndio polisi waanze kusema tunahitaji physical security Aya, sasa nataka tuje katika makundi. Now, one of the things that we want to try out in Mombasa today is what happens if you structure the public participation with a gender leaning. By the gender leaning I mean that we are going to have one group that will have women only. Na katika makundi vile nilisema wakati tulikuwa tunaanza jambo moja ambalo tunafanya leo na tunataka kufanya kwa uangalifu sana kuhakikisha kwamba tunaangalia how we can improve our public engagement how do we deliberate on the discussions about how much money we want to give to each sector tumefanya makundi madogo tumejua sekta tumefanya haya makundi makubwa tumetengeneza ile list yetu ya vile tunafikiria pesa zinatakiwa kugawa katika zile sekta kumi. sasa kama room nzima lazima tumeki decision ya mwisho 
Na hiyo decision ya mwisho itatokana na haya makundi makubwa ambayo tutakuwa tumetengeneza zile list, hizo list zote vivi anatakuwa ameziandika chini, tutaziweka hapa mbele, alafu sisi wote kama room tutaitikia. Tukiangalia hizo list zote ambazo zimewekwa hapo, ni gani ambayo tunahisia kwamba hii list it's a very fair representation of what we will allocate to those sectors. The Arab sector contains uh, consists of five MBAs. Bila is establishing the MBAs and the programs in each MBA together with the recent allocations. Uh, the first uh, MBA states Department of Agriculture. It's on uh, general administration and planning and support services, crop development and management, agribusiness agri and information management. Uh, the first one is blank and it's been given 21. And that is higher. Your PD is 3, your tattoo is 17, your one. Governance, justice and law were allocated to 12% of the national government in the budget. So, kwa hii nyingine, tukianza kumfama, kuitambua, tujui ime allocated to 1%. So, so we can say the one percent is okay because these sectors lack the ndio Take three minutes per sector, let people kind of inform you about what those sectors are about. Then when we finish that, there will be a small table that Mokera will pass around where you will fill in now your understanding at this point about the sectors based on the knowledge that you will have gained also from these groups. Somebody can take us through the first the agricultural and rural nini. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
tukao tumeambiwa tuchambua zote mbili ni vile ambavyo tunaweza kupata kikao mbele ama pesa nyingi na ni kwa nini hizo keti zote tunaona kile kitu ambacho tunaweza kupata pesa nyingi ni mbele ya kwa sababu gani kwa kwanza tumesema kwamba environment ikiwa improved hii anukate itafanya tukimaliza tukasema kwamba sekta hizo ndizo zote kumi zote zina environment environment maana kama ni upande wa nje kama ni upande wa hewa kama ni wapi yote ina ile environment wote ni mnasema ipo percentage za ngapi So on education kitu ambao tumeangalia tumesema wacha tuangalie the reality of things vile zimekaa. Je, absorption rate yake imekuwa vipi? So tukaenda page 44. Tukaangalia table ya absorption. Kiangalia tu ya absorption kiangalia katika hizo departments zote nne ya four departments ha? pale chini kiziangalia zote nne all the departments are above three quarters they are above three quarters meaning in terms of absorption na ile shughuli ambayo wanafaa kufanya wanafanya kazi kazi nzuri tukasema wacha tuangalie shida mahali ambapo ilipo sana sasa shida ikaja kuangukia page 42 ambayo ukiangalia hapo kwa hiyo nini nini chati ya kwanza teacher service commission umeangalia juu juu kuna mahali imeandikwa imeandikwa vizuri governance and, and standards lakini ukiangalia governance and standards ukiangalia kwa nini inakupatia 0.0.1 kumaanisha shida iko wapi shida ina lai pale tulipoenda page 11 ambayo ina another chart kama hiyo hiyo Inasema 2018 2019 huo mwaka unakuja wameongeza by 3%. Mimi kwa hivyo lile jambo ambalo tulikuwa tunaangalia kusema kwamba elimu iongezewe iende juu ni kwamba imeongezwa. Imeongezwa. Kwa hivyo imeongezwa by 3%. Tukasema hilo jambo ni zuri. Kwa hivyo tukasema education as according to us kwa ile meza yetu it is taken care care the next the next sector ambao ni public administration and international relations ama jina pair ambao imebeba nchi nzima pia inafaa kuongezwa inafaa kuongezewa upewe kipao mbele kuongezewa na tuliposema iongezewe tukasema turudi pale pale katika ile pie chart yetu pale mwanzo tuangalie je serikali wamefanya hivyo ni kwamba wameongezewa 2% sasa hii ni 15 pa wameongezewa by 15% projected ile ambayo ni project page 11 kwa hivyo tukasema then we are also okay with this energy and infrastructure next energy ilikuwa iko 32 historically alafu ikashuka ikashuka in short of 28 sawa sawa kwa hivyo ikawa imepungua by 4 sisi tuwasemaje kwa ndani Ah uh, let's have the health sector. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, right now. 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 That was personal. 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 That was
I'm asking you for a form. Governor of Justice. For governor. For governor. For governor. For governor. Pia ni kubwa sana. Ikona ikona MDS eh kuna maile ikona sehemu ya autonomous governance agencies ishirini na tribe ya 15. Ah matajiri. Kwa 12%. Na sasa tukapropose inaongezwa hata mwanga lefu 15. Kama na tayari. Ndunguzo eh sisi tuwanu na mimi agree kwa miaka 15. Sasa tupeni masikio wa kacha. Tumeona kuna vile zinaitamari ya. Na tukasema. Agriculture ndiyo ute wa mdongo. Wa inchi yoyote hivi. Sama kama hakuna food security. Mambo mengi na inatokea. Lakisa hatu kija hili allocation kabisa katika national government. Tumepewa katika agriculture. Tumepewa 3%. 3%. Sisi tumesema kitu kwa senti tabakipale. Na sababu kwa senti tabakipale. Na sababu kwa senti tabakipale. Na sababu kwa tumepewa agriculture na environment, tukaona hizi mbili zina maka. Zina wana. Na kuona kwa kini kipi. Environment tumepewa 5% katika katika national government. But we wish environment ipewe kipa mbele. Environment kiongezo, agriculture, ita, ita ita kwa boosted na kikati kwa boosted kwa na food security utakuwa na ni utakuwa yani mapato yata yata na mapato ya, mapato ya kizidi umaskini uta na kitu nyingine tukaona pia health itakuwa affected magonjwa yatapungua kwa sababu ya chakula kitakuwa kingi hmm? Ma, magonjwa ikipungua hospitali yetu hata yatakuwa hayana kazi nyingi and uh, education we have four departments namely department for university education the tsc department for vocational and technical training department for basic education ambayo ina na pre primary and secondary so tumeona inafaiongezewa percentage kidogo kwa sababu kuna inadequate teachers for adult education tuna per capita funding of pupils in primary education is not adequate to cover the costs that keep poor children out of school with the increase of enrollment of pupils there is need to expand and rehabilitate existing physical facilities in both primary and secondary schools duplication of capital projects across and coordinated funding streams poor construction standards and inadequate maintenance compounded by different independent monitors that is my deduction education energy infrastructure and ict so kwenye mjadala wetu tulikuwa nao na kulingana na pesa ya budget ya 2016 2017 yenye tulipewa tuliona hiyo te wana pole 529 million billion i mean to cut up for this nine ninio mds so tuko nao pesa si mbaya kiwao na as per the chart tukiangalia page 38 ya infrastructure ndio imechukua bigger like a bigger share followed by energy 
na transport. So about the pesa tuliona iko sawa inafuata kama kipeo ingekuwa ni challenge iongeze at least ndio hizo sekta zipate nguzo ama kipe kipaumbele to fight this challenges and is the kwa kurais hapa na pale na hiyo ndio kitu tulikuja nayo Now, in this final bid, we will decide, based on what each group has done, what is our final sector allocation as a whole group going to be. So what is our final approach to making this decision? Now we need to agree on one. Consensus. 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 I have an idea. Election moja. Uh -huh. Idea on the group one. Now, any, any, anybody's opinion, it, it is accepted in this room. So, yeah. uh -huh. so as per the table, to identify it, just but an idea to ili arakaraka, kama kuna secretary, like, kama tuko, for instance, wanane, yes, nane na no nane. Alafu, wakati usha pitisha, tasema saacha to pick papers. Ile, katazile papers, ta pick to a na, to come up in a conclusion, yes, it's got time, that's why it's in That's a very interesting yeah. secret ballot, eh? I think the best democracy in any other group discussion is just by being the raise of hands. <laughs> because consensus is a very good thing, but sometimes if somebody has his or her own idea that is stuck on his head, it's very difficult to accept the majority of it, even if it's either wrong or right. So the, the, good, the good thing is, let us just accept democracy of raising by hand, then we pick the majority votes. Okay, so that's slightly different. So that one is, let's do a simple voting pattern. Aha, Mokeira. Lakini, to kifanya voting, there's a high likelihood that everyone will vote for their menu. Then we will be back to where we started. There's a high likelihood Tyranny of numbers. Let me hear the last, and it has to be a conclusive one that is agreeable to everyone. No, I think let us be genuine with each other. Let us listen to each other's opinion. Let us judge from whatever views they are giving. Mm -hmm. If their view is, is heavier and is pulling you towards them, vote for them genuinely. Not okay. because you are in agriculture or in education, you want to go towards there and you know you cannot support your point. If someone is giving valid reasons, go with them. Let's do this. What I want us to do is simple. Now, I want us to look at sectors where we seem to be in agreement, then we can have a discussion about sectors where we seem to differ. Okay, so let's look at a couple of interests here, I think, because for many of the areas, it seems like the are very, very different. Okay? For example, if you look at education, there's no one who did anything very drastic for the education one. So you get a new kid you know how to maintain, you know how to get a tuna, two participation points. Now, but there are some interesting places where they are nice to be <laughs> For example, if you look at group four, for social protection, sorry, group one, for social protection of men, to be but here one percent. Security of the Punguka or Yongeta Kutoka eight, uh, sorry, different here over the eight, our Yama of the eleven. So there's some interesting dynamics between group one and group four in this group. Those were the four big areas where there were big disagreements between the proportions to the different groups. So, can we agree we do an average for those ones? Yes. Or in areas where the differences were one percentage point, two percentage points. Is that sawa sawa? Because wakati umeenda and I don't want to keep you longer than this.